What's up, guys? How y'all doing? It's your girl. It's your girl. The one, the only. It's Rissa. It's me. What's going on, guys? We're here with another look today. And let's go ahead and show the people what look we're going for. Going for a pink, pretty, giving me Barbie vibes, really pretty soft pink cut crease. And today, we got none other than your girl Chiquita <laughs> coming on. What's up, Chiquita? What's going on? Nothing much. Oh, I'm ready to get into this pink cut crease. I love it. Yeah. So I'm I'm a little nervous because you know I, I'm not great with cut crease. I'm gonna say that from the jump, but I'm gonna make it do what it do. <laughs> well, no, you did really good the other week. Uh, not last week before last, you did like really good, and I was struggling. I feel like y'all left me in the dirt. I was like, wait a minute, but I called up. I think you did good. Lord, I you, yeah, you did. Listen, you put your application, honey. You was right now. I was like, yes, catch up. Catch up. <laughs> I was like, slow down. You and Shaw was gone, but I know. I called up at the end, so that's good. Yeah, you, you sure did. All right. All right. So what are we starting with? I, I already know. I shouldn't even ask that. You start with eyes today. <laughs> you already know what I'm starting with. I already wow. know. All right. I'm following the leader again tonight. Okay. All right. Guys, I think I want to take the easy route out tonight. And I don't really want to use a pomade. I think I'm just going to use my... Let me find it. Here we go. Brow Density by Lancome. And y'all, this is like a really huge cheat for me. Because I literally just brush my brows. There we go. So is that a pencil? Is it like is it liquid? Okay, so it's not. It's like a, a, a powder to cream. So it's it looks like. Hey, B. Hey, Bianca. <laughs> it looks like um kind of like fat fibers is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. And I love it. Right. It's dark. You ain't gotta apply much. Nice. All right, well, I'm going in with my handy dandy um, Elf Pod and the color Espresso. Hey, Amelia. As you guys are coming in, tag a friend. Go ahead and share. We're going to play tonight because I think this is a really, really cute look. Like Marissa said, it's giving complete. Barbie vibe, so yes, make you feel it. pretty. Mm -hmm. If I get quiet on this part, y'all, y'all know I always concentrate. <laughs> you know, y'all know we got always. Brows. We trying to go. We aiming for twins. Always twins. Always. Twins. Not fraternal either. That's it. Identical <laughs> baby. So my brush, I feel like shy. This is a DG. No, for real. I think this is um, I think it's an elf. <laughs> it's just an elf um flat brush. I always start in the corner, just work the way down. And typically when I get to the front part here, I just use my brush to pull that in. And mine is just like a brow grooming brush. It's just two-sided. It has the little spoolie on one side and then the angle brush on the other. Don't judge me. It's not washed. I used it today. But it's okay. So how often, Tita, do you wash your brushes? Oh, I'm shame. <laughs> Don't worry about oh, it. Me too. I 
can't even answer that. I don't even know. That's yeah. bad. Oh, it's, that's bad. It's really that's bad. A, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. That's the worst part of makeup. Every other part I'm I love. Yes, the, the brushing and cleaning, the, brushes. the brushing. That is uh, it's it's rough. Right. So I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the color Fawn. Hey, Shanice. She said, I'm loving her lashes. Oh, yes. You killed on your um your pictures. They were beautiful. Your, oh, um, yes. Your pictures were beautiful. beautiful. Thank you so much. We focus. I feel like I probably should have cleaned up my eyebrows before I started, but hopefully my concealer will cover it pretty good. <clears throat> so how do you clean up your brows? Do you do it yourself? Or are you? I do, honey. I don't trust people with my eyebrows. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm just nervous. Um, luckily, I don't feel like I've ever had a bad experience. Um, I feel like I've been doing my own eyebrows for a really long time. Um. There were a couple of times I did try, um, I forget what it's called. It was a place on uh, Lizenby, that nail shop on Lizenby. And okay, they so did a really, really okay, good so job. Two, is it the newer one? Like the, I guess it was purple, Celestial Nails, or is it the nail art place? I don't know. It's right beside that, um, I think it was a laundromat. That, I mean, it's been some years. Like okay, some yeah, years. so that's... So that's long for anybody that's in our area. Yeah, they did a really good job. But I mean, I, I guess because I learned how to do them myself, I don't, I don't trust anybody else to do them. I just use a um a straight blade, uh straight razor, mm -hmm. and go for it. Okay, so Amelia said, "How do you choose concealer colors?" Um, that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. I honestly just. I try not to go too light um, with my skin because I'm a I'm more of a darker complexion. I try not to go too light, uh, but light enough to, you know, give myself a little pop under the brow. Mm -hmm. um, um, I I recommend going maybe like two shades lighter. For for me mm -hmm. though, um, it it really depends on the look that I'm going for. If I want a super dramatic like I look like for instance the pink that we're doing. Um, right now, typically I would use uh, what is this? Either I'm and I'm using um, what is this? Pro Conceal. Either I typically use either Warm Honey or um, this one is Cool Tan. Tonight I want the look to be a little bit more dramatic, so I'm going in with the nude. So it's super super light, yeah. and you can see. That. To me, I feel like that just helps the um, like the pink, like the pink that we'll do it help it to stand out a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Cause I, I do also, um, I use, I, I sometimes use it, my concealer as a base. So for my above and a, um, below brows, I do like um, the shade closer to my skin, which I normally do, but today I just didn't. Um, and then I like this one, which is about like, you can say two, two shades lighter. Um, but when I need just, uh, I use it as a primer sometimes, the eyelash or eyeshadow primer. And then mm -hmm. I go in with this really, really light color uh, by the name Porcelain. And that's for the dramatic looks like we're going for tonight. So oh, yeah. I use it on my base. All right, guys. So if you have not liked, comment, and shared, please do share it with your friends that maybe need makeup tips or that enjoy makeup. Sorry if I'm covering y'all. <laughs> feel like I gotta get super, super close here because goal is to highlight. You don't want the um. You want your the brow and the concealer to meet. You don't want that space. So I try to get in super close. Oh, honey, you leaving me tonight? Let me let me play catch up now. <laughs> I told you I cheated. I cheated with the brow density. I told you such a cheat. 
No, because you're you going to catch up when it gets to the cut crease part. you going to leave me in. Okay. So, <laughs> take your time. So, what brush are you uh, using to blend? So, uh, Jamie, oh, Lord. I'm, this is just an elf brush. This is like my go-to uh, blending brush. I have like a couple of them. And I've had this so long, actually, the words came off of it. So I don't even know which one this is, to be mm -hmm. honest. I know I mentioned it as one of my go-to. Now I can't find any other ones. I'm going to be... Uh, um, flawless concealer brush is what it is. Okay. All what right. Do you use I think this is the Eco Tool, or oh, I'll yeah. use um. What is this? I don't even know what this. It says RT two hundred. Always a fluffy brush, though, mm -hmm. to uh, to blend out concealer. That just helps to distribute it and leave no creases. Um, Rachel said, what's a good foundation brush? What are you using now, Akita? Uh, I only use the Beauty Blender. I, that's, yeah. I just love the, because um, I feel like with uh, foundation brushes, you have to apply and then go back and blend with the Beauty Blender. Mm -hmm. I'm lazy, one-stop shop, put it on with the Beauty Blender and just blend it out. So I don't, I personally don't use a foundation brush. So I do use, I have a couple of brushes that I actually really like um, for foundation. One uh, being this Real Techniques um, Essential Foundation Brush. I really like this and I just apply the foundation to my face when I'm using this brush and then just kind of go in and kind of smooth it out with this. Um, I also have this amazing one here and I love it just because it's such a, a dense brush it just goes on so smooth and it's like a tapered face brush i think i got a pack of 12 from amazon for about maybe 10 or 12 dollars so these oh, are wow. good. yeah they're by me it's small so, they're so really i have a question because i don't i don't use i mean foundation brushes do you feel like there's perks to using a foundation brush first um before you use your beauty blender or is that just like a easier way to apply? Um, I think I think that I just use mine, the foundation. If I use a foundation brush, it just depends on the mood I'm in, I guess, what I use. Um, if mm -hmm. I use the foundation brush, I definitely think it's just to get the makeup on there, honestly. And then I'll go back and I'll use... Um, either a beauty blender or some other type of brush, but it's honestly, you don't technically have to use it unless you're going for a more natural look. If you're going for um, a glam look, I wouldn't use it. Okay. Yeah. Cause I feel I'm like a little bit. Go ahead. Sorry. I feel like it's, you're going to be like using multiple steps like it's you're going to re repeat yourself um, okay. a lot so i'm doing um uh, what marissa had mentioned earlier how she's going typically goes in with a lighter color um underneath the brow and i'm going to use this shade i would say is uh, probably about two shades lighter than what my actual skin tone is so um, this is also Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan. I typically don't even do this. I, I don't even I don't even typically line my the top of my brows unless I want a super 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 defined look. But you have a really good arch. I do not. I have to pretty much make my own. Really? Yeah. All right, I'll go back and blend that more once we do our foundation. All right, so for my base for the actual eye makeup, I'm going in with NYX um, Jumbo Milk Pencil in the color Milk. And it's just a really white 
base, basically. Hence the color milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the um the jumbo um pencil from NYX. I like had it for a long time and didn't, I guess, really know how to use it. And then when I really mm -hmm. found out like what it was for, like it was really awesome. Right. This was like our go-to when we first started um, doing makeup. Mm -hmm. It really helps to, um, and that they actually have so many shades of this, but if you're going in with um, like bright colors, I feel like you only need um, the white one, so that's just my opinion. So two different products, um, pretty much doing the same exact thing, just providing a light base for our eyeshadow to go on. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to be going in with my. Let's pull up that look one more time. Okay, so now I think I'm going to go in with a. My Jaclyn Hill 2 palette. And I think I'm going in with uh, the color Tipsy Girl, which is right here. You guys are going to be so proud of me. What you do? I yeah. ordered some new makeup palettes. <laughs> okay, kids. Um, and it's Juvia's. <laughs> oh, um, you have a sale. Shy. Uh, she hit me up on, I think it was, anyway, it was a Juneteenth sale that they were having. Um, I think it was 50% off. I don't exactly remember, but, um, I ordered the Warrior, oh, which I are, uh, oh, I do too. I haven't used it yet, but I'm so excited. See, it still has paper, but this is so pretty it has your basic um transitions colors as well as your shimmers so i'm super excited to use that i'm not sure if i'll use that tonight i do want to share i also got um the festival by juvius and i really did um like this but the real reason i got this is because it came as a uh, like a, a bundle deal mm -hmm. with um I love like orange lipsticks and it yeah. came with the kind of, it was one that's it's orange but it kind of has a brown undertone to it but um and it also came with a brown so this is the, the, uh, these are the colors oh, really pretty aren't they pretty I'm super yeah. excited I might, I might dip into this palette tonight we'll see you can see right here I did oh, yeah, you have those pinks so. mm -hmm. you can definitely do something with that so we shall see, but I'm going to go ahead, my handy dandy BH Cosmetics, we have a few um, pinks in here, so we'll go ahead and start with that. So the same brush that I used to blend out my concealer, I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to start with this kind of a, a pale pink right here. That's pretty. That's a pretty color. And guys, I'm literally just going in, uh, just putting a little bit on my brush, and I'm literally just going in and just lightly blending it out. You don't have to use too much pressure, and you want to build it up. You don't have to start out really dark. You want to build up. That way it helps uh, you to blend it out, and it's not very harsh lines. I mean, I feel like I just be going for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, where's your wipe emotions is going? Yes. Um, we did, we talked about this last time. Where we asked what so so you guys can interact on this part. What what is, what are your uh techniques 
for blending out the crease? Do you are you a stippler or are you a windshield wiper girl? As you can see, I'm definitely a windshield wiper girl. <laughs> Yeah, but I feel I like I do like the mixture of both. So I don't think I have mm -hmm. one set thing that I do. Okay. I think I'm just in there. Gotcha. Sorry, if I'm looking over this way, it's because this is where I have my uh, my mirror set up on the side so I can see make sure we're blending. So now, Hi, Craig. Now I'm gonna go I'm in so with Dan's party, which is right. Wait, am I in the camera? No, I'm not. Dance party right here. Oh, that's pretty. All right. So now that I have that on, I think we're going to pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this darker shade of pink right here. We're going to add that right on top of the lighter, like a, the bubblegum pink. And this is just to add a little bit of depth. How do you pick the right shade, Kita? The right shade of what? Eyeshadow? Yes. Uh, I feel like... You're probably going to say I'm wrong, but I feel like anybody can wear any shade as long as it's blended. So um, I say just go for it. I don't think there's a certain, because you're darker skin, you can only wear this color. Because you're lighter skin, you can only wear this color. I don't agree with that. I feel like, not when, when I'm talking about eyeshadows, that is. When it comes to lipstick, that's a completely different thing. But, um, <laughs> but I feel like, I, <laughs> I feel like with eyeshadows, you can pretty much, anything goes basically. Yeah, I do. I agree with that. I feel like um, if you have an inspired look that you're going for and you can get in, uh, inspired by other um, makeup artists, you can get inspired by certain patterns. Uh -huh. um, if you're crafty, you go into Joanne's fabric. Just say you're going to Joanne's fabric. Um, and you see this fabric you really like, get a swatch of it, bring it home. And create your own look. You don't have to necessarily copy off of somebody's look if you don't want to. You just, I mean, take the colors that you like. Um, I even seen a challenge on TikTok where um, people were doing like, uh, take your palette number, um, however number uh, eyeshadows you have in your palette, put it in a jar, mix it up, and pick three, and then choose, you know, make that look out of those three okay. colors. Which I oh, was we should do awesome. that. We should do that one night. We definitely That'll should. Be... That'll be fun. Okay. I think I'm just excited to use this palette. I'm gonna go ahead. And... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try this paint here. You definitely yeah. should. Yeah. That's a pretty palette. Super pigmented. Mm -hmm. And the, the um. It doesn't have a lot of fallout. I noticed that as well. Fallout, for those who don't know, is basically where you, when you're applying um, the powder, is the part that actually falls from the eye. So typically with your creamier um, eyeshadows, you don't really have that. And fallout is the reason why I do my eyes first. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to do my face and then I don't, I got all this fallout and now I got to fix what I've already done. I don't like to. Right. You know, got to go back and clean up. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I think I want to go in just because of my tone. I feel like I need to go in with like a kind of a purple just to add some dip to the crease. Okay, Kita. <laughs> yes, just a man. little bit. I'm here for it. And a matter of fact, since you're going in with purple, I'm going in with purple. One. I'm looking for the purple. Let's see. Okay, okay. 
This is, oh, this palette then had it, y'all. <laughs> this is uh, Anastasia, the subculture. You can see how long I've had it. She has, she has been through. But this purple right here, we're going to go in with that right there. I have that um, palette, Kita, and I just, mm -hmm. I've never, I never use it. I think I use like really? the rose gold out of there. Oh, oh yeah. I've, I've, I've hit pan on that one. Yeah. So the color is Rowdy. This is the Anastasia um, subculture palette. So what I think we should do is definitely do a look using just that palette. Okay. I mean, yeah, let me know what to do with it. <laughs> I saw it in TJ Maxx and I think it was like $15 and I couldn't leave it. Uh -huh. That's exactly where I got mine. No, no, no. Mine, I think mine came from Marshalls. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's basically a sister store, so same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kitty, you're going to be so proud of me today. What'd you do? <laughs> Guess what foundation I'm using. What? Morphe? No. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh, fit me, yeah. Okay. You know, I, I have that in my bag, and I was like contemplating. I'm like, do I pull it out tonight? Now nah, I'm, I'm gonna stick with my Morphe. Yes, key to be picking on me, y'all, because <laughs> no, I don't. I'm a um, I'm a name brand girl when it comes to foundations, but I, I actually love the fit me. Um, by Maybelline, they're really awesome, and that's where I started. Mm -hmm. I started with them in Revlon. Right, they're one of the only ones that had my color when I first started doing makeup, and so I like them. I love it, honey. All right, and, um, for you guys that were wondering why I have two different foundations i have one that's dark and one that's lighter um a lot of times when you're picking out your foundation foundation may not be your exact skin tone so it's okay to mix colors to make your tone because they don't have my exact color so in the um summer this is too light in the winter this is too dark so i mix them together in the spring and now in the summer and it works <laughs> So for you okay. guys that are just tuning in, go ahead and like and share, tag a friend, and we're about to get into this actual cut. Oh, well, this is the part that makes me nervous. Don't talk about it, kid, because I feel like you're going to make me mess up. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> You guys have any questions for us? I'm sorry, we're just kind of talking away. You guys have any questions? I'm no makeup artist. I just play, you know. But I can, I can take what I know. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go back in with um, the milk pencil again. I'm just going to draw it on this time. Y'all, I am going to go in with the uh, P. Louise base um, to go ahead and cut this crease. I uh, love them. Um, yeah, I, I love them. They're pretty awesome. At first, I didn't know how to use their product because it's very rich. Um, but I, I ended up really actually enjoying this. And I literally go in with whatever lip pencil. And I use lip pencils to cut my crease just because I feel like they're more precise and I can get it a little bit easier. Um, just because mm -hmm. I have uh, hooded eyes, it, it tends to be a little bit harder for me to cut my crease. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how. So I just took a little bit, put it on the back of my hand, 
Same flat brush. Me too. Okay, so this is a. Okay, would you say this is a whole cut crease, or would you say that this is a half cut crease? I think it's a whole. I definitely think it's a whole cut. Sorry if I'm making ugly faces at this point. I feel like I'm having to. I gotta stretch my eyes and make sure I get it right. <laughs> It's okay. All right, so I had somebody <laughs> inbox this question. How do I contour my face? Lord. Oh, yes. That's that's a really good question. Um, they have charts um, that pretty much, if you look on Pinterest or something like that, anything like that, they have charts that kind of give you the basics of cutting or of contouring your face. And um, what I like to do when I contour my face is I like to make emphasis on the areas that I want to stick out the most. And that's how I know how to highlight. And for my contour, the areas that I want to, um, I don't want so much emphasis put on, like my nose, I feel like my nose is a little bit big. So I'll contour the size of my nose. And so to create the illusion that I have a smaller nose. So just mm -hmm. the areas that you feel like are your areas you don't want emphasis on, maybe you're subconscious about it, maybe you just, you want, you're going for a specific look. That's, um, that's the areas that I would contour. What, are you, what about you, Peter? I completely agree. Um, I know this is one thing that me and Marissa, we do differently. She is a cream contour um, girl. I am a powder. And I think that I do that because I <laughs> I like quick fixes. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like to spend a lot of time on my makeup. So uh I feel like, and I'm pretty sure Marissa's probably mastered this whole contour thing because, you know, once once you do a thing often, it becomes easy. And I feel like if I actually probably try, and I'm not saying I can't cream contour, I have. I just like to get stuff done like ASAP, like ASAP. But um, I just feel like the more I work at it, I could probably do it. But mm -hmm. I like the easy way out. And so I just use a powder. So there's different ways to do it. You know, I um, I started out using powder and I actually enjoy. Um, Hi, Julia. I miss you too. I actually enjoy the, um, the, pow or the powder uh, contour, but I feel like um, with my skin tone, I need something that's going to actually pop. And I don't feel like um the powder pops enough for me okay hey um hey melissa and tell maddie i said hey as well thank y'all for joining for those that's coming in if you guys could do us a favor go ahead and share tag a friend send it to your mama them <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like I need to see the look one more time. <laughs> All right. Let's get that look. There we okay. Go. All right. So it's kind of a, it's a little hard to tell. Either it's a white in the, in the beginning and it kind of transitions to a light baby pink and then to a deeper pink in the corner. Mm -hmm. So the question is, do I use white or baby pink? Or we could just use both. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Let's do white. This is a white, like white, white, white. Yeah, so you know, I like to. If I want a super pigmented color on my lid, I always go on my finger. I feel like I this um, payoff color payoff that way. So I'm gonna take this. And this is the part where you just dab it onto the eye. Do primers work? Absolutely. Primers yeah. absolutely 
and I definitely believe that it depends on what kind of primer you use. Um, what do you, Q, what would you say primers are used for? The people that don't know. Primers are used to help keep your um, foundation concealer in place. Also, it is used to help with um, moisture and to help with those who have like super oily skin. That's what I think. I don't know if that's right. That's what I feel. Okay. <laughs> you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no. It's basically. I definitely, um, I definitely agree with that. What you said. Hello. Hey, Danelia. Good to see you, sugar. Again, same thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell y'all now. I'm not gonna have a good crease. Why? Because I really, really like. Uh, I like things blended. I'm just gonna be. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I'm gonna really try to stay with this cut crease because this is actually a challenge for me. I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm actually not, I don't feel like I'm really good at cut creases. And so I actually picked this look to challenge myself. I didn't know I was challenging Keita because she killed the last cut crease. You know, I think what it is though, maybe I don't have the right product to cut the crease with. Maybe that's why I struggle. You know, maybe I need, I, I, maybe I, need to try. I love the, um, if you go on Instagram, the P. Louise, um, Instagram page, they kind of give you like tips and hacks to cut your crease. Uh -huh. And you can use those tips and those hacks with any product. Like it, like you literally can use it. You don't have to have their particular brand of product to, to cut. Okay. Maybe I need to, I guess this is good for me. It's, it's going to challenge me to do something that I don't typically do. All right, so I'm just going in with kind of a baby pink. It's actually the same color that I started with um, in the, the transition. That's my transition shade. All right, so I'm going to go in actually with this Wet n Wild. This is actually a highlighter. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like um, a pink. I think my ring light. My ring light might be up too high, but it's it, it's like in between a, a pink and a white. Oh, you can see it better like this. So like a pearlish, pinky color. Oh, that's pretty. So I'm gonna put that on. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> Does that look right? I'm trying not to drop this palette. I need a little bit bigger table. So what did you do over the weekend, this uh, 4th of July weekend? No. I stayed home. <laughs> yeah? I, would, I didn't do anything. Um, what? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I'll explain why. Some some people may feel like I'm being a little over the top. I promise I'm not. Um, I chose not to do anything just because um, everything that's happening with COVID and I didn't want to be the weakest link for my office <laughs> in so many words. Um, yeah. I think one thing that people fail to realize that this virus does not just affect you, you know, it affects those that you are connected to. Um, and if I were to catch coronavirus, my entire office would have to shut down for two weeks. And I'm pretty sure people will be at my head um, if they're not getting paid. So yeah. for me, 
I just chose not to. Um, I ordered food and I came home. That was it. <laughs> and then, good for you, Kita. That was good. Yeah. That was a good call, being responsible. You know, it's different. Um, and I wasn't sad or anything like that. It was just you know, you just you have you have to think about, you know, other people, not just yourself. Yeah. And I true. definitely could have. My best friend was in Shaw was in town, and Aww. I didn't even see her. So, um, that if that is anything that lets you know how serious I'm taking this, because of course, as much as I wanted to see her and play volleyball and have all these fun games, um, I just chose not to because. There are people at work depending on me to stay healthy and yeah. most, of, most of all stay alive. <laughs> That's so. good. That's good. I don't that know. was my weekend. <laughs> yeah, we um we just literally got had a small get together with uh, just close family and mm -hmm. um, we uh, cooked and uh, had finger food and played games and nice. all that cool stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I'm waiting. On, I'm ready for all this to just go away. I mean, yeah, definitely. I'm not saying it will or it won't, but you know. Yeah, it's definitely a a, a downer, um, especially when you think about um, all the people that you know have lost their lives. Um, mm -hmm. The people that are. You know, you know. Of course, our state is increasing rapidly. Right. Okay. So yeah, I drove in town, um, or in town. I had to go to the beach um, Thursday, and just to see the amount of people that were here. Oh my god! I, know. <laughs> I yeah. cannot do. So it looks like she has this white or pink line. I'm gonna use white and I'm literally just gonna follow the very top of my crease. Mm -hmm. I'm going with a little bit of purple just to help add a little dimension. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get quiet for a second because I gotta get this line straight. <laughs> what do you think the hardest part is working with like our gradient colors that we have like how it fades from that white to the pink to the dark what is the hardest part getting the colors to stick and blending them like right now I'm struggling with this that's why I keep picking at my eye <laughs> so I probably um I probably next time if we do this type of look again, I'll probably use a different primer. Yeah, I definitely um I definitely think it's hard trying to go back and blend and making sure the colors fade the way that they're supposed to fade. Mm-hmm. Hi Nick. Thank you for joining. All right. I think I'm going to go back into the soul culture. It kind of has an iridescent kind of look right here. It's a white. It's probably a little hard to see with my ring light. But um, it's white, but it kind of has a pink undertone. I'm going to put that um, just right on top of the white. A lot of fallout with this. You guys have any questions? Hi, Tasman. Hey, Taz. And we expect you next week to be our guest. No pressure. No pressure at all. It no just it, it would be great. It'd be quite <laughs> lovely to have Tasman 
join us. She's going to accept the call. I feel it. it might not be next week, but she's going to do it. <laughs> I need I need y'all to encourage Taz. Blow her up. Inbox her. Right on her wall. Whatever you need to do. Tell her, tell her y'all want to see her. See her live with us. It's fun. Just doing makeup. We're literally playing. Because I don't know how to cut a piece of real. Just to see. I'm struggling here. Uh, it's going to work out. It's going to work. You got this, Kia. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying. See, I don't have that white to do that little thing that you do. What do I need to do? Um. Mm -hmm. I probably should have told you before to leave like a small space when you cut when you cut your crease. I should have told you to leave a small space. I'm almost nervous to go back in here with a white. I feel like I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> Listen, I'm feel like I'm struggling too with this white because that's such a thin line. So guys. I am going to let that white dry a little bit. And um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about these lashes I'm about to get into. Guys, look how look how big these lashes are. Yes, ma'am. Are these not amazing? These are Jude. This is called Judy. And I named him Judy because there's a movie called ATL and there's a girl in ATL named Big Booty Judy and because these lashes were so big she inspired these the name of these lashes I love it, love it <laughs> so I want to offer everybody watching a discount off my lashes if you go on the website and you buy them, it's www. Oh, you see it on the screen. Debellas.com. All lashes are on sale at this moment. So get you a pair. There's quite a few pairs. I have 11 or 12 different styles. So go and check it out. I love What's it. My code? I can't remember my code. What's my code? Live 8. Live 8. That's your code. Go ahead and go head over and get your discount. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer, I talked about you on my live uh, two weeks ago. I... Justin, which is our sound man, Marissa's husband, he asked us what was our favorite moment um, doing makeup. And I told them, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> hope you don't mind me sharing. But um, I told them that I was so excited how God had restored um, your marriage and just to see you guys come together and just completely in love. Like that was the best moment ever, y'all. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. And thank you for letting me be a part of your wedding. I loved every moment of it, seriously. All right, so guys, I did want to let you guys know that all the lashes on the website are on sale for $7. And you get an additional 10%. So we'll get your lashes. Yes, ma'am. All right, that's the best we're gonna get with this crease because uh, I'll be here all night trying to blend. All right, so I'm gonna go. Are you doing liner, Kita? You know, I got two big eyes. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to do a thin line tonight. Though. Um, I'm just going in with my the blue pack. Just clean up some of that um, fallout. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and all, and I'll come back and finish my. Here we got the same wipes. Love it. They're the best. I'm telling you. You know, I normally get the equate. I normally have the equate, but um, well, Lord, I don't. I think I ran out and I went to Dollar General and that was all they had. Uh -huh. <laughs> having them. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Jess. Yes, Jessica, you do need to join. Just listen. Don't let Jessica fool y'all. Me and Jessica have had sessions, okay? She knows how to play. Mm. Yes, you do. Don't, 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 don't lie to the people. Are you hot now, <laughs> woman, Jessica? Mm. You know how to do makeup. This is the you primer that I'm using. Can you guys see that? Milk of Magnesia. This is the Dollar Store brand. I have super, super, super oily skin. So, uh. This is what I'm using. It helps to keep my foundation in place. And my oil does not seep through. I would not recommend this because it is very drying. So I wouldn't recommend this for um, those who already have dry skin. But if you have oily skin, I'd say try it out. I'll just go in through my T-zone, especially my nose. And I'm just cutting oh. these eyelashes to match the size of my eyes. They are massive. And um, I'm just going to go straight in with my mascara. And I'm going to slap. Well, I'm going to slap my lashes on after. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation, my handy dandy Morphe in the color F410, and this is super matte. I am a full coverage kind of girl. I feel like if you're going to do makeup, you might as well do it. Don't play with it. That's just me. <laughs> so I do have a, a beauty blender here that I already went before we started. Now just take go ahead and just press that into the skin. Going on with this duo eyeliner. This is like my go-to, and it's like the the white or the clear rather. And I literally put on my eyeliner, and then I take my little brush and go right on that lash line. Jessica said this look looks fun. I know. I ain't gonna lie, I'm struggling. I struggle. I was just about to say I'm struggling. It's fun though. <laughs> I'm having fun. I struggling. think if I had the right products, it would be um it would be easier. But I don't have that white that um like a white pencil, I guess, or a liquid liner to um to carve out So this don't have to work. Right, guys, so we know that's your color, yeah, Jessica. Yes, Jess. Loves it. <laughs> All right, I got these little lash tweezers, and I'm literally just gonna plop these on. Y'all, look how big these lashes are. Go big or go home. And this is massive. Again, these are <laughs> Judy from my lash lash line at Jabella's. These are not for the faint at heart. Taz said she loves this look. Oh, thanks, Taz. <laughs> so you never gave us your answer. Pass She's avoiding us. No pressure. No pressure. You coming on or no? <laughs> you want to play with us or no? I'm telling you. Come on. 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 Come on
come sit with us. That's the thing about makeup. There is no like perfect way to do it. And I feel like this gives us a chance to learn from one another. I love, even though I do makeup, I love to watch other people do makeup because I feel like there's always room for growth. And yeah, you are you are giving me vibes over here that I'm, I'm very excited about. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> All right. So I am going in with Pro Conceal. And this is the color Cool Tan. Typically, Warm Honey is my, like, go-to. That's my girl. But, uh... I don't know. Like, I, I was trying to hurry up and get set up. Pat said she couldn't execute it. I, I don't believe it. Oh, come on. I don't That's believe it. Names. Nobody's judging you here. Let's see. All right, let's get into this face. I'm going in the same thing. Get it in because I am very oily. You are not oily. As she said before, you may skip this step. I like to go in with this little brush here. Jessica said, warm honey, baby. I'm telling you, warm honey is like that. That's that baby. For you guys that are just tuning in, if you go ahead and go to the website below, we are having a sale on all lashes are seven dollars, and you get ten percent off if you type in live eight two night it. only, one night only, guys. Catch the sale, y'all. Think what do you say? You had twelve different um twelve different types of lashes, yes. So That's if you like to go big, like the ones I have on, I got something for you. If you like natural lashes, I have something for you also. Nice. All right. So same beauty blender. We're just using the same one. Just to kind of move the concealer around. This is a part where you just um, never want to wipe it. At this point, you're stippling it into the skin. That just helps you get the best color payoff, best coverage. And then for your life, honey, no creases. All right, guys. So um, I'm going in with these two colors. If you're just catching it, I said I use two different colors because I, um, what did I say? Oh, because I don't have a color that's exactly my same color. So I mix the two to get the color that I need. Mm -hmm. And we talked about this before. It's very, the chances of you finding the perfect shade is very slim unless that particular line has, I mean, every shade imaginable. But um, oftentimes you're going to either, you, like, like Marissa said, grab two different shades or mm -hmm. go a little bit lighter with your foundation. And then you can always, um, always them. add powder on top that's mm -hmm. closer to your, um, or that is your shade, your actual shade. That'll kind of help bring it back. So, all right, I think we are blending. I always do a flash test when I'm done, too. That'll help to let me know if I have everything in place. I just look what I just did. And y'all, don't forget right. your neck. Don't forget the neck. Don't forget the neck. Don't Gotta forget the neck. Important. <laughs> I'm going to skip mine tonight just only because I do not want to get makeup on my shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my setting powder tonight is L'Oreal True Match. 
in the color warm seven and this is caramel beige i just have a fluffy brush just kind of swirl it around and put that all over basically going back in with my fawn and i'm just going to highlight those areas we talked about earlier that we wanted to put emphasis on. And then we will contour the areas that we don't want emphasis really put on. All right. So now we are going to bake. I'm going in with Fit Me. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the color medium 25, and it's just your loose powder. This is my go to. So I'll go back. Um, we talk about this every live. Before you apply your loose, uh, before you apply your loose powder, you always want to go back underneath the eye. Make sure you stipple that really good because if you set, if you're talking and you go on getting other stuff done and then you come back and do your loose powder, chances are your concealer has creased at that moment. So wherever you apply your powder is where you're going to set your concealer to. So if you have creases, you're going to have a set crease. <laughs> you never want that with your um concealer so i'll just go back in get rid of all those creases I'll just go in dip slightly pat that on you thought about that i thought about that sun dip baby dip go on and dip yeah. baby dip baby dip baby dip <laughs> <laughs> two roll that's what it is Yes. Go back, honey. So Jada says, I love that setting powder. Isn't it the best? I can I, I know everybody talks about the um what is it? Anastasia is it Anastasia? You know what I used to use that I really, really miss is Ben Eye banana powder. Now that stuff, oh it was so finely milled. Like, so you will, I, see, I never found a good color for myself, or maybe I went looking or something. I loved it. The Ben Eye Banana Powder. And that's, I feel like it literally worked on any shade. Really? No matter what you think I do. I was afraid. I, loved it. I don't know. I guess I ran out. I just never ordered it again. But I loved it. All right. So I'm mm -hmm. going in with my Mineral Fusion Powder in the color Deep, and I'm going to set with this and i don't do too much too much baking guys i i i'm a i'm slightly afraid of uh, being flashbacky <laughs> so and because i'm darker complected i feel like i'm gonna look ashy mm -hmm. so your girl don't even do that sorry it's okay you don't have to bake I dropped my tweezers down here somewhere, y'all. Oh, but I put this on heavy, though. I ain't gonna lie. Sorry about that. Okay. So, I'm trying to decide do I put liner on. I feel like I need to. Okay, do you. Yes. I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit, okay? I have, My eyes are big, so I got to be able to, like, well, cut them down. I that problem. <laughs> have to cut them down. I have that problem. <laughs> like, the liner, it is waterproof, and it's the brand Amuse. I actually get some of my local media supply store. I think I paid $2, $3. I don't know. It's super mad. That's why I look at it. So y'all, since Keita picked on me today, I'm going to go in with my powder. Don't do that. 
because I actually like this one. This is the um, Black Radiance uh, True Complexion Contour Palette and from dark to deep, because you know I'm dark and deep. Um, and so I'm just gonna go in and you don't have to go in very heavy with this because this stuff gets it done. I'm going to concentrate on Mars, y'all. Me too. Try not to darken myself up too much. I feel like it's so easy just to get bigger and bigger with the wings. That's how I, <laughs> I try, to, try, to, try to concentrate. It's funny. It is. I almost <laughs> put on, I almost put on wing, uh, wings, but I wanted to try it with my lashes on. Uh-huh. But these are too big. I'm going to mess up. They're too big. So I'll try next time. So do you do you apply yours after? My liner? Yes, because yeah. I cheat. Because huh. I don't know how to apply it. Any other, any other way, it's not going to come out right. I can't. I'm not very um, skilled when it comes to wing liner. I feel like you leaving me tonight, honey. I'm, I'm back here. I'm back I'm, I was trying to hurry up and then something happened, kid. I don't know what happened. Oh, I was like, oh Lord, she done finished the she done finished the cut crease before me. I'm I think I got stuck on the cut crease because I kept trying to blend and it just was like instead of it blending, I feel like it was coming a little bit more chalky. Mm. So, all right, we're gonna go in with our physician formula. Physician's formula um mascara. This is waterproof. That's the only thing I buy. Waterproof. I feel like my eyes are too wet to not. <laughs> Let's just see. So. I always do a thin Thank layer you. of mascara. Aww. Thank sweet you, Justin. Guy. He's a sweet guy. I love him. I'll keep him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But yeah, I do a thin layer of mascara. I just feel like this helps to. Um, for your lashes to stick a little bit better, it kind of gives it something to adhere to. All right, now I'm going to go in with the lashes. Let's see, it's a little better. LA Colors in the brand or style Diva. What does that say? 976. They're kind of spidey, which is how I like my lashes. <laughs> so you're going to make me get some of those. I love them. Oh, yeah. I got, for those that don't know, I talk about them every week. These come from Dollar General. I think I've gotten some from the Dollar Tree as well. They're literally a dollar, like one dollar. So, um, I love them. I do. All right, guys. So I'm legit about to go in this. Hey, Bree. Back into my palette. Back into Tipsy Girl. And I'm about to go in that lower lash line. The question is posed, who should we invite next? Yes, mm. who, do you guys, who do you guys think is really good at makeup or they don't have to be really good. They can just be like we are. That's um, it. We just like to play. That's all. That's it. Somebody that enjoys makeup that's, you know, moderately well at it. Or do we have any uh, who are inviting themselves? 
You don't have to nominate somebody else if you want to come on. Yeah, comment below really. or inbox us. I ever want to do it. I had somebody pose the question to me. How about we do mm -hmm. a um, makeup tutorial with a beginner and have a beginner come on and we just teach them the basics? Oh, that'll be fun. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh huh. I'm in. And I have. Hey, I don't see. I don't see you guys volunteering now. Come on. We volunteers. Who's volunteering? <laughs> oh, the one that we had her week before. She last. was on. Um, yeah, week before last. Yes. If you missed it, girl, go back and watch the replay because. It was pretty doggone funny. We had a blast. Hilarious. <laughs> um, that Shasha. girl. When Baldwin, uh, Baldwin is, a, is a beast with makeup. She's a cosmetologist from Enterprise. Okay. Tap okay. Yes, definitely. Definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and just dust off that bait. Um, I always try to be careful with this part, and I would also be careful with the type of brush that you have. Um, I have found that sometimes if you do too much of the sweeping motion, it just kind of creates cracks. So I dust a little bit, and then I more so stipple the rest of it into the skin. By the way, I haven't applied my lashes because I'm, I'm letting the, um, the glue dry. All right, now that, that is off, I'm going to go ahead and contour, and then we'll put our lashes on. All right, and now that I did the under eye with the um, eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with some <laughs> mascara. Y'all don't judge me because I'm bald eyelash at the bottom. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> Promise. I'm well, I'd rather be bald at the bottom than bald at the top. And I have that problem. I don't know what it is. I, <laughs> I'm almost ashamed to admit this. But I, when I'm sleepy, I catch myself picking at my eyelashes. Oh. I don't know what that is. It's such an ugly habit because I'll wake up in the morning time and be patchy. Oh, Lord, Keita. Bad. I know. It's bad. All right, we're going to go in with our, what is this? This is our Morphe 3502. This is my girl. As you can see, I have hip pan with quite a few of these. Um, I like a pretty, like a deep contour. So I'm picking this, um, it's almost like a, it's a deep brown, but it kind of has a burgundy undertone to it. So I'll go in with that with a more dense brush. And we'll just kind of swipe back and forth right into the hollows of our cheeks. I'll just pull that up a little bit. Also, I'm going to go down my chin to help conceal the double chin. Snatch it in a little bit. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Can you tell the difference? Just by so. contact. Do you use um, eyeshadow for your blush? I feel like you can use anything you want for blush. Yes. So the answer to the question is yes. <laughs> yes. This is, this is eyeshadow, guys. This is eyeshadow. I feel like anything goes, whatever works. Whatever it takes to achieve that look, honey, go for it. Yes. Well. Get this back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go down my nose. I don't like a super um, contoured nose. That's just for me, though. See, you have a good size nose, Kita. <laughs> um, 
I just pretty much use what's left on my brush. I don't typically when I do my nose, I don't go back in and dip. I'll just use what's left over. And just pinch my brush like this. Mm -hmm. Pull it up. So I already know I'm gonna have to go back and use do my flash test because I did um pretty bright. I baked for quite a while. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. I hope I didn't wait too long to apply my lashes. Maybe my glue is still sticky. Let's see here. Oh, the best way to, well, for me to apply lashes is with tweezers. Um, I typically start from the very center. And then I'll go to the outside. And then um, I also talked about this in a previous live. I think the reason that most people struggle with lashes is because they don't allow the glue to sit long enough to get tacky. Mm -hmm. um, so that's always to, to like quit apply your glue and then kind of go on to something else. Don't forget about it. Like you have to come back before it sets. So typically during this step, I'm like either contour or apply my lip at this point. And I'm literally just blending out this um, blush that I put. Well, I use eyeshadow, but I'm just blending it out. Okay. There are these are kind of dainty. They're not um, super dramatic. <clears throat> if you wanted to add a little bit more depth, you probably could do the same pair. Just add like just do um, two strips instead of one. Mm -hmm. Yes, you definitely can double up lashes. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go back in with the highlighter from Wet and Wow, and I'm literally just gonna. Highlight that cheekbone. All right. I just went back in with the um, same liquid liner and just added that right on top of the lash line <clears throat> just to make sure that they are concealed and you guys don't see my patches. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go back into our BH Cosmetics and the same colors, uh, the same pinks that we use to start this look will be the same ones that we'll use to go underneath the eye. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use a really, really skinny brush for this. That's the same one that I used to apply the purple in the crease. Yes, honey, I see you. I'm trying to glow over here. I oh. see you. <laughs> Can we put the picture back up one more time? Thank you, Dominique. Okay, let's see here what we got. So, guys, I'm definitely not going to have that white line that she has because I don't have a liquid liner. A liquid white liner, that is. So, yes, this is definitely going to be an inspired look. <laughs> inspired, Black Beauty. Aww. Definitely inspired. All right, so going back in with that highlight, just because I want to add just a little bit more white and kind of make that color on top pop just a tad more. Mm hmm. I 
laugh. Humorous. Go for it. So I just got eyeshadow in my eye. All right, and we'll go in with the baby pink to connect it to the very front. And then now, it's okay to go back in and touch up after you've already done it. It's fine. You go back in. Mm -hmm. You see something that don't look the way you want it to look. Guys, I also do makeup tutorials. Hope y'all can support me. Okay, sure. Absolutely. Yes. That's well, one thing I have gotten into is makeup tutorials. But yeah. I'm going to get there. Um, send us your information. Inbox us your information. And then we can have you come on and um, do a look with us. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, absolutely not. <laughs> All right. The question was posed. Would you go out with the guy that uses makeup? No. No. Why? Why is the guy using makeup? I, I need that to be the first question. I need to know that first. Why? Like, like, what is his intention? Like, Does he have a pimple? Or what's going on? I don't know. Is he trying to yeah. hide something? What is going on? Is he got a pimple? Because I seen that on That's So Raven back in the day, and he had a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> so he used his somebody. I think it was Raven's makeup or something. What does he got? Uh -huh. Is it? Yeah, that, that, I need. Mean, I feel like I need to know that first. Is he? Um, I mean, is he like a TV person now? You know, they have to sometimes. Oh yeah. Makeup. Uh, uh -huh. It just depends. What? What? Why is he wearing makeup? Why? That's what I need to know. Um, these are. Oh my goodness! What brand is this? I talked about this last week. I don't even remember. Oh my goodness. And I got rid of the box. Anyway, these are trio pods that I got for Christmas. What? And it actually came in three. It's name brand too, Mercy. You'll be proud. <laughs> oh, Tart. Got my Tart and the stickers on there. Tart. I like. Aren't they gorgeous? I like those a lot. I got three of them. Thank you to my Kayla Ann. If you're on the live, that's another one. Let me see if I can center it here. I like that. So actually came oh, hey, three on. to a pack. So they literally work for any skin tone. I like that. I'm going to have to check Tart out now. Oh, pretty. So pretty. I so I'm just I using this to go in with the, um, just to add a little um, highlight to the front of our eyes here. I still feel like I'm dark. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see what I got going on over here? I feel like I'm a little yeah. dark. But it's okay. No worries. I'm dark. So I'm trying to get into these lips. Try put that picture up again. Let's see what we can do for these lips. I don't even know if I have colors adequate enough. Okay, so it looks like a, a nude pink gloss. Okay. okay. That makes me want to go in with the. This is. What is this color? Beauty Mark by NYX Lingerie. Makes me want to try and go in with this. I think I'm going to have to put a couple of things on. All right. So we're just highlighting our Cupid's bow. This is ColourPop. I use this every week. I love it, love it, love it. It is an eyeshadow, but um, I use it to highlight with, and it is a pretty shimmery gold. And it's in the color Amaze. So we're gonna. I was gonna go ahead and do my lips. Let me go ahead and do this first, and then we'll move on. So we're gonna do a little bit at the tip of our nose. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit on our forehead. 
And I typically just use my finger for this part. I get my hands dirty, y'all. I don't mind. I'm gonna go in and stipple that in my cheeks. And you can just keep building to get the best color payoff that you want. Am I too bright? Now I'm gonna go in, guys, with the NYX uh, slip tees. Slip tees. And this color is strawberry wit. See what this does. All right. I'm going for that nude pink shiny look. Let's see if I can achieve it. You could do it. I believe in you, honey. Oh, I kind of like this eye. When I look at it like that. <laughs> it kind of does look, look crease. Look at me. Go ahead, Kita. You did. <laughs> okay. I think I left my baby pink upstairs. So we're going to make it do what it do with what we got. All right. Um, This is my holy grail. Anastasia. I want to say this color is soil. I have to look. But it's the same color that I use for nudes. I want this super nude matte look. So I'll go ahead and outline with this. You guys have any questions? I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to achieve this look. You got it. I believe in you. It might not look like hers. It look like mine, though. That's it. All right. I don't have my pink. I think my pink. I still think I left it upstairs. Um, this is a burgundy. I'm going to put a very, very tiny amount on. This is LA Colors um, liquid liquid lip color in matte. And it is the color that you just got. These come from the dollar store and they are super, super pigmented. Is this what you have? Yeah. Yes. Is that I have the, like, yeah. High, high shine shade butter lip gloss. Oh, you one. have the, well, you have the shine. I got the, I have the matte one. Oh, okay. They still work good. I think I have mm -hmm. that one. You have two somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of this on because I don't want it to come off burgundy. <laughs> I think she's love Dominic's loving your lashes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um I actually have a sale on my website going on right now until midnight. These lashes are seven dollars and I'm giving ten percent off with the code discount code live eight. Nice. So go ahead, go over. Get you some. This is the color. Um, these two are the style Judy. All right. So I'm going in with Elf. This is just a, um, a gloss in the color clear. And I'm just going to add a thin color in that. I'm not loving my lips, I will say. Yeah, me either. I'm not liking mine either. But I think I'm about to cheat. So you about to cheat? Yeah. What you about to I'm do? I'm gonna add some eyeshadow. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. Cause it's a it's a little bit red. 
Yeah, yeah, no, that's a no for me. Hers is so pink and pretty, though. I know. I don't even know what. Okay, All so right, this is a question. See. What can I use instead of primer? Oh, yeah. You can use calamine lotion. You can use this stuff here, milk and magnesia. Um, yeah, those are the only two things that I would use. Mm -hmm. um, oh, somebody's you. I've seen. I used to use this, but this made me really oily, so I didn't really like it. It's like the Nivea Men aftershave or something like that. I used to use oh, that. I've heard. I've heard about that. I haven't tried that trend, but I did hear it was. It was good. Yeah, so I um, I have a trick for make making any lipsticks. So, like, if you have a um a lipstick that is glossy, if you want to make, you can pretty much make any lipstick matte by adding powder on top. Mm. I learned that from YouTube. All right, Miss Chiquita. Mm. All right, I'm liking a little bit better. No, I still hate mine. It's okay though. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I think it's I'm only little. liking it better because I'm making it matte, and you know, like I really be trying to stick to the look, y'all. I really do. It never happens though. I think it's my fault. I think it's, this lip issue is my fault because her lips are a lot fuller than mine, and mine are small. It's me. Yeah. It's, me. it's definitely me. It's me. I'm just going to go back in and add a little bit more. Okay, Kita. I see you. I'm trying, honey. I gave up. <laughs> but it's back mad. <sighs> That defeats the purpose, right? Yeah, she had a slight, a shiny lip. She did. Okay, my, let's go back. I can never get my lips to shine that bright. I think I maybe I just needed to be more pink. Now I can go back with the gloss. Okay. I hope I don't miss this. Book. You guys have any more questions for us? That, is that glossy? Kind of. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, like it's glossy. I like that. Okay. All right. That's better. I feel better about that. Sorry, y'all, about put my whole grill all up in there. Let's it's a nice see. grill, though. It's a nice grill to be in, though. Yeah. Work hard. Switching. All right. Well, guys, how do we do? I need, I need y'all to rate us. Rate us one out of ten. How do we do? Put the picture back up, babe. I know I get a point taken off because I don't have that little white line. That's all right. Mine is slightly crooked. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> but you have it though. How we did? This is a really fun oh, look, you guys. Oh. Thank you, Tasman. Thank you, Tas. Rate us, tell us how we did. Let us know if you love it. If you want to fill in it, you can keep it to yourself. No. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. You know, every time I finish these slides or I'm on these slides, it so makes me want to go like makeup shopping because you know, I have all these cool toys and I just have like the basics. Really? Like, yeah, girl, because I was on, um, when I was on um, Juvia's. Um, website. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, now I gotta get new makeup brushes. So now you have this like white liner going. I gotta get me a white liner. Like, I gotta. I think 
that white liner was actually from NYX. And I think it was like maybe on sale for three dollars. So Oh wow. Yeah. Thank you, Tess. Again, Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, don't forget to like and share with your friends. I'm sorry. Sorry, my uh, my cameraman said we have a question. How do we do? Rate us how to, one to ten. How do we do? He had another question. Sorry, guys. Sorry, y'all. I got hair in my mouth. It's good. We had another question. That's Post the same picture. Question. Okay, we definitely will. Who should we invite next time? If you guys know someone that loves makeup like we do, go ahead and tag them in this and tell us tell them to inbox us and we will get them on here. Absolutely. Yes. This is always right. fun. You guys yes. really shouldn't be intimidated to come on. Like I'm serious. Like we are literally all learning together. Yes, this absolutely. Learn from one another and learn makeup tips from one another and just literally play because that's what we're doing. And that's what makeup is about. It's about having fun. There is no, you know, there are no set rules. Like you do what you do. You do whatever works to, to achieve that. Specific so, yeah, absolutely. You guys don't want to write on here inboxes. Right. Just I'm not, not I know. Has, has, yes, come on, Deidre. Okay, Deidre. All right, guys. Well, if you are just joining, or if you didn't hear me before, please go on over to Jabella's, get you some $7 lashes plus your 10% off. Yes. And make sure you tag me and Jabella's Facebook page if you haven't already gone to like them. And uh, tag, tag us in your picture and we'll post it. All right. Oh, yes. That was yeah. a good, good nomination. For Shays. Okay. She's a little shy. She is shy. It's okay. So am I. Will you come on? Will there be one? Will there be one? Will there be one? <laughs> um, the darker one I show is perfect while the lighter girl's lips can't come out for a job. I can't learn from you both. I just need. Also, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, honey. Marissa got his cut crease down. I'm still, I'm struggling. I'm going to go, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shop, shop for the right products. And I don't think it is. I literally open. can get the same cut crease with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I just bought those P. Louise and I need to use them. Okay. They're kind of expensive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, Tess. Oh, Tess. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>